woman that falls in love with an influential billionaire quickly realizes he was hiding a dark side. When you're standing at the altar with your soon-to-be spouse and hear the romantic words of I do tremble from your lips, you expect the oath to last forever. Love should never fade over time, or at least that's everyone's assumption on their wedding day. When Alexandra Tolstoy first met Russian billionaire Sergei Pugashev, the electricity between them could light up a city for weeks. But as Alexandra floated through her lavish life, thinking all would end well that started well, she quickly realized tragedy was on the horizon and approaching fast. You'd never think someone with such a charming smile like Alexandra Tolstoy could possibly hide such hurt and terror behind her eyes. After all, how could someone with such a famous last name end up in trouble? If you're thinking, hmm, Tolstoy, like the famous author, you're absolutely correct. The British woman was a distant relative of the writer, but she didn't pursue the name avenue like he did. After boarding school, she went to Russia and fell in love. All her life, she dreamed of spending years exploring Russia's culture. While she was there, she met and fell hard for a horse-riding Cossack. However, life was a struggle, as they had very little money. The couple eventually settled down in Uzbekistan with the very little they had. The financial hardship strained their relationship, but it all changed for Alexandra when she was offered a tutoring gig. A Russian oligarch named Sergei Pugachev hired Alexandra as a private English tutor, and from day one, the two clicked. They quickly became quite fond of each other's company. It also didn't hurt that Pugachev was a billionaire. Alexandra said, When I met Sergei, I wasn't happy in my marriage, and I'd had a very, very stressful time. Sergei felt like the savior coming in. I'd talked to him for hours and hours on the phone. How did Pugachev amass such an incredible wealth? It all started with his co-founding of a private Russian bank called Mizprombank, which was one of the largest in all of Russia. He also owned ample real estate and the world's biggest coal mine. The man was a senator, too. In an interview with BBC News, Alexandra later said, I just didn't want to be with anyone else, and I don't think in my life I'd ever felt like that before. I was electric. I fell so in love with him. The life that the billionaire provided her was something she never could have fathomed a few years earlier. She eventually had three children with Pugachev, and they too enjoyed the splendor of his riches. The family's wealth was beyond ridiculous. He'd give me his credit card and I'd go shopping. I had a private jet, I just had to pack my suitcase and go. However, trouble was brewing. See, Pugachev was very close with Vladimir Putin, a man you did not want to frustrate. As soon as the Russian leader heard Pugachev got involved with an outsider, he expressed his disgust almost immediately. Russian law stated that a senator was forbidden to marry anyone who wasn't of Russian descent. Not only was Putin baffled at Pugachev's decision, but he also referred to him as a traitor. Pugachev's vital relationship with the leader was crumbling. Not only was there a strain due to the fact that Alexandra was English, but also because Pugachev was spending far less time around Putin's inner circle, and he paid a hefty price for his betrayal to the leader. Putin, clearly ruffled by Pugachev's choice to spend time with Alexandra over him, deemed the oligarch an enemy of Russia. Pugachev soon lost his bank and nearly all of his finances, so he fled Russia, leaving Alexandra behind. While Pugachev bounced back and forth between homes in London and France to avoid Russian detainment, Alexandra was living in her own prison of fear. She discovered trackers on all of her vehicles placed by Russia's deposit insurance agency. The Russian government clearly wasn't going to let Pugachev off without punishment. In fact, Alexandra even recalled one time when the disgraced billionaire was driving in London and two cars tried to squish his car. Pugachev miraculously escaped. The DIA even managed to track him down at a random restaurant and made grave demands. You have to pay 350 million or we will kill you or your family, they said. Or we can cut the finger off of your son and we'll send it. Pugachev's attitude was now one of complete fear and growing rage. The anger resulted in the complete disintegration of his relationship with Alexandra while she was in London. He wanted her and the kids to flee to France, but she couldn't face the extreme isolation they'd face. 
Pugashev, in an act of disgust, cut off all forms of financial help and communication. The romance was over. To this day, Pugashev and Alexandra still don't have any communication. Once he pulled everything out from under her, her kids became her prime concern. It's a shame Pugashev didn't know his wealth and influence could be used against him. His downfall was reminiscent of a tale of Asia's greatest cheat.